10 at 10. It's tonight's big story saved by the board. Big budget cuts for Bellevue schools will happen, but as Joe Chioda reports, tonight parents learned a few items on the chopping block won't be cut after all. I looked at your eyes. You were looking at me. You were listening to me. Listening is something we're taught to do as kids, but it's often more refreshing when done by adults. Do you know how rare that is to have someone really listen to you? Tim Roth says last week this board did just that. You were listening to me with the intent to understand what I was saying and what I was feeling. Listening to him protest the closure of Bellevue's Childhood Care Center and hundreds of others protesting cuts to the band department. A week later and many of these voices, including Tim's, have been heard. The board has voted to approve BPS budget cuts with the exception of those to the band and child care center. Now, instead of pleading, many, including the woman who began the ECC, are thanking. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart because I got to start this 14 years ago. But the band and care center are still only two items. There are many others inching closer toward facing cuts. Those had parents upset tonight. Two of them, technology and textbook upgrades. We've got to find the money to get our curriculum and our technology current. Or for this woman, the removal of the adult education center, once used by her autistic son. And because of their care, and support. He was able to get that job. And I just wanted to let you know that yes, it does make a difference. These voices prove there is still listening to do, but the board tonight is proving that it's being done. And we are now here live at Bellevue East High School. This meeting wrapped up just before 9 o'clock. In the end, the school is still in a deficit of $4.5 million. And had they cut those band and child care center programs, they would have saved $380,000. Now, that $380,000 still does need saved, but now it is back to the drawing board. The administration is going to look things over and think of another way to do that. Reporting live with producer Roger Hamer, Joe Chioto, WWT6 News. That 380,000 uh, can't be cut somewhere else. The school will look into revenue options and one possibility charging people to use the early childhood center.